Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever the case may be. We are back and we are better than ever. We are talking about descriptive statistics. So let's get right to it, shall we? Okay, now we are uh, going through a whole lot of things. We're not doing um, all the sections because a lot of this is um, very simple. Um, any misunderstandings you have, we of course will take care of in class as usual. So, here's some of the vocabulary in the beginning of the chapter that you need to be familiar with. Uh, population, census, sample, survey, data, categorical, var variable, all of these things um, you need to be familiar with. If not, you can, it's, it's very simple, just uh, in the very first um, section in um, this chapter, um, you can uh, take a look at these or just pause this video and read them real quick. Um, distribution, these shapes of data when collected. We'll talk more about this um, as we go through our investigation of descriptive statistics. Um, symmetrical, positively skewed, and neg negatively skewed. Um, and we'll talk more um, about that as we go along. Um, okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is this example. Um, it's a cumulative um, frequency. Uh, it shows cumulative frequency, and, and all they're really asking for is the mean, median, and mode for this data. And what we have is a tennis player or a tennis tournament, and uh, it shows the number of aces served by tennis players. For those of you who don't play tennis, that is when the uh, tennis player serves it and the other player is not able to return the serve and of course the server gets a point. It's called an ace. Um, so this is the number of aces served by ten tennis players in their first sets of a tournament. And the number of uh, aces, number of players who had one ace is four. Eleven players had two aces and this is during the first sets of their tournament. 18 players had three aces, 13 players had four aces, and so on. And so to determine the mean, median, and mode, it's been put into a table. Um, and the number of aces, the, all the numbers given here, one, two, three, four, five, and six, are given here. Their frequency, which we call little f, number of, f's, number of aces x, and frequency f, um, listed here, and the product fx. Now do not confuse this with function notation. This is actually f times x. As you'll see, 1 times 4 is 4, 2 times 11 is 22, 3 times 18 is 54, and so on. And if we add that, this up, in other words, the sum of f multiplied by x, there were 179 aces. 179 aces. Okay, and the frequency that those occurred were 55 times right here. So to find the average, it's pretty straightforward. We take the sum divided by the number of occurrences. So 179 divided by 55 uh, gives us an average of about 3.25 aces. Okay, the median, all right, well, there's 55 data values. We know there's 55 data values here, right? So, um... Uh, the median is going to be the 28th value. Um, I'm, not, I don't, I'm not crazy about this n plus 1 over 2. We know that, um, let's see, 54 divided by 2 is 27, right? So that's an odd number. That means the 28th value is going to be the median. Median is the middle value. How do we find that? Well, here is the frequency, right? 4 plus 11 is 15, um, and if, if you look at our cumulative frequency here, oh, I didn't do that, cumulative frequency. Um, here we have the 4, right? Then 4 plus 11 is 15, yes. Then 15 plus 18 gives me the 33. This is the cumulative frequency column, and that's helpful. You'll see why in just a second. The 55 matches. So to find the median, well, the um, 28 value is going to fall between 15 and 33. Um, but the data, the, uh, the data values, well, it's actually the 16th, 16 to 33. 
because um, the next one after the 15 here is a 16, are three aces, right? Because those are 18 values, they're three aces. So that means the 28th data value must be um, a three, okay? And then the mode, um, you just look down the frequency column, the highest number um, of occurrences of aces is three, so clearly that's going to be the mode. So it's just a matter of really thinking about it, okay? Now, this is um, called grouped data. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, this is called grouped data. And what we have is the um, ages of bus drivers. Um, there, are 20, there are 11 bus drivers who are 20 to 25 years old, uh, 14 bus drivers who are 20 to six, 26 to 30 years old, and so on, okay? So we don't know their exact ages. So everything here has to be an estimate. So estimate the, estimate the mean of the following ages of bus drivers. And it's an estimate because we don't know exactly what their age is. Well, how do we do that? Well, all we do is we take the frequency times the midpoint of the um, range of data. The midpoint between 21 and 25 is 23. So we take 11 times 23 is 253 or 253 years. Um, 11 drivers here have, an, a, have a total age of about 253. The midpoint here is 28, 14 drivers between the ages of 26 and 30, an average of 28 years old. Multiply that, we get 392. We add all those up, we divide by the total frequency, and we have an estimate of a mean age of 37.7. Okay, what is all this? Um, for this data set, we're going to find the median, Q1, Q3, and the interquartile range. What is this? Well, Q1 is referred to as the first quartile, first quartile. And Q3 is the second quartile. Um, no, it's not the second quartile. It's the third quartile. Sorry about that. Okay. And the median is the second quartile. The median is the second quartile. Okay. How do you find the first quartile? Well, the first quartile is the median of the lower half of the data. And the third quartile is, this is awful here, the third quartile is the median of the upper half of the data. So to find all this stuff, um, we just have to order the data, which they have done for us, okay? The median is the middle number, and of course, if there's an even number of numbers, and there are 20 sets of data here, so that's even, then the median is the average of the middle two. And the middle two are six and six, and of course, the average of six and six is six, right? Six plus six divided by two is six. Okay, so then the lower half of the data is gonna to be to the left and the upper half is going to be to the right. So to, so to find the first quartile, I find the median of this lower half of data, which you can see is four, and the median of the upper half of the data is nine plus 10 over two, which is 9.5. And to find the interquartile range, we take the upper quartile, 9.5, minus the lower quartile, 4, and we get 5.5, okay? And we can um, actually do all that on a calculator very, very quickly. I'm going to show you how. The same set of data I have already entered on a TI Inspire, just in the, in the spreadsheet. You just do Control plus page and you add list and spreadsheets and you get yourself a brand new spreadsheet. Of course, I already have one here. I'm going to call this column data one. You can't put any spaces in there. Then I'll click somewhere in the spreadsheet and now you want to watch my keystrokes. I'm going to go to menu, um, statistics, statistics calculations or stat calculations and I'm going to calculate one variable statistics. I only have one list of data, one column, so I click OK. And now it's asking, where is that list? And if you just click here, you just click on whatever you called your column. I called it data one. And I want the result, I actually, so you can see it, 
This means what column do you want all this uh, to appear? And I'm going to hit OK. All right, and then all this stuff comes in. All right, X bar is your mean, 6.75. We didn't find that. We found um, uh, the median, the lower quartile, and the upper quartile. The sum of all the data is 135. And, uh, and, and the sum of each um, piece of data squared is 1245. That comes into play later. Don't worry about that just yet. But what I really wanted to show you are these five numbers, because these five numbers are referred to um, as the uh, five, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> sorry about that. They referred to um, as the um, five number summary. Um, the minimum of this data is one. Q1 was four, which we found. The median is six, which we found. Q3, the upper quartile is 9.5, and the maximum is 15. Okay, so you can easily find that on your calculator. Okay, I am going to stop uh, one more short video and we'll be done with the basics. Um, five sections from this particular book. I am out.